What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Kinley Fluid 3 who's having an issue with the process to crash UE Nightfa or low fatal error or GPU crash dumb triggered error that is happening for many users right now and how we can fix this up. So let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about we need to do a restart on a PC. This is what we have to do as the first thing for most step. So to do a restart, just go over here in the start icon. Now go to the power icon. Okay, do a restart. After the restart, we have to check. Next step is all about we need to install and cheat with a command in the target link. To do so, we just need to go over here, right click, go to the properties, go to installed file and just click on the blobs. Now from here, we have to get into the folder named EC and cheat. Now here, what we need to do is just go over here on EC and the cheat file. Now we need to right click, go to show more options. Now we need to create a shortcut. Once you create a shortcut, you have to right click on this one, go to show more options, go to the properties. Now from here, as you can see, we have to go over here. As you can see, this is the exe. Now we have to put a space. Then we need to type in start. Then we have to put a space. Once again, sorry, put a space. E R O D huh, dash F. This command should be given. Install P R O D dash F. Go for apply and go for OK. Afterwards, you have to check with the key. Stay if you are having the trouble. Then we just need to move to the next step. That is all about we need to start or we need to run it as an administrator. So just go over here, right click, go to the properties, go to install at file, create a browse. Sorry, click on the browse. Now we have start protected game here. So right click on this one, go to run it as an administrator. While you launch this or run it as an administrator, the game will be launched like once again, and you have to check most probably these three steps. First three steps might fix the issue. If not, we have to move to the next run. That is all about. We need to rename sn.pc.me2. So we just need to go over here in the file explorer, go to this PC, go to local this E, Steam library, Steam amps, common, now go to 94. Now get into the folder named engine. Now from here, go to plugins. So this one, just go back. Udo Nightfall, plugins, streamline, binaries, third party, Win64. And we have a file here called sl.pcd2. So first we need to copy this particular file and we have to create a backup here at the desktop. Create a backup. Now it is here. Now just go back to this one. Now we need to rename it over here. Just rename this particular one. You can rename it sl.pcd2 can be renamed it like sl dot pc dot one two three whatever you can add something over here and make sure that you're renaming it then you have to launch the game if anything goes wrong we can bring back this one you can replace with the original file which you copied and paste it as a backup in the desktop next one is all about what we need to do is try saving the i mean try launch the game with the power mode so go to the control panel now navigate to the power options now click on over here as you can see we have various power plans either the my custom plan and high performance now either you have to first try with balanced one and you have to check or you can go to power saver and you have to check any one of these might be working in some cases or you can keep it over here like whatever it is it's all up to you but let me keep this on my custom plan either you can go for high performance or you can use the balanced one but you can try with power saver you can try one by one and you have to check Next step is all about if you're having the trouble, we, we can try is increase the virtual memory. So to do so, we just need to go over here on the search, go to view advanced system setting, click on this one. Now we need to go to the advanced settings, advanced go to change. Make sure you uncheck this, select the local disk where the game is installed. So in my case, it is E. Go to E, now go to the custom size. Here we need to give the initial signs and the maximum size we need to do a conversion so just go over here we need a calculator so just type your calculator so the initial size is first type here so 16 gb is my data so you have to type 16 gb multiplied with 1024 that bring you this then you have to multiply it with 1.524576 copy and we have to paste it make sure 16 gb multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 3 that is 14 and 152 copy this and we have to paste it once you set this up we have to close everything over here and you have to 
check. Next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So we have two methods, one on the NVIDIA app, another one on the system itself. So just go over here, go to show more option with NVIDIA control panel. If you're having the NVIDIA users, go to NVIDIA control panel. Now, the NVIDIA control panel will be popping up. Now go to manage 3D settings, go to the program settings. Now we need to add it. So just click on add. Now you have to check whether the game is added by default or not. Sometimes it might be added. So if it is not added, we need to add it by from our end. So just click on add option. Now we need to add the game here. So just click on the browse. Now we need to go to this PC. So go to this PC, go to local this E, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Nightfall, select this one and you need to add it. Or you can get into binary screen 64. Just select this one, open. And as you can see, the King Killing Flow 3 is added. Then you have to go away to scroll down one more thing. If the vertical saying that we sync is turn it on, you have to off, keep it off. If it is turn it off, you have to turn it off. Then you have to kill this and you have to check. Next one is all about when you do run it down graphics card. So just go over here in the graphics settings. Click over here in the graphics settings. Now make sure the game is added. Right? So just clone add desktop app. So you have to add it. So here as you can see, I have already added the game. So as you can see, I have already added the game. You have to add it. And there is one thing, the GPU preferences should be always kept it to high performance with NVIDIA GeoForce. Right? So you should be keeping always on this. Once you add, you have to check with the game. Next step is all about we need to run UE pre request. So just go over to the file explorer, navigate to this PC, go to installation folder, Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, you have to get into Nightfall. Now go over here, search for UE4. So you'll be getting, sorry, you have to search here for UE. So just wait. So this is your pre request setup. So just right click on this one. Make sure that you have to run it as an administrator. So if you have not yet installed this, make sure one thing you have to install it. If you already installed this, it will ask you for uninstall. Just go for uninstall first and it will take a bit of time. After uninstalling, we have to reinstall it back. That is very important. So try reinstall it back and you have to check. That is very important. So once you can reinstalling it back, this quite a bit of time. No, it is uninstalled. 